Hey Frumly, the trailer for episode 8 just dropped and it just revealed that the lady in the kimono is trying to possess Fatima. With Tilly gone and out of the way, there's nothing to stop the town from turning Fatima into a vessel of evil. So if you want to find out exactly why the lady in the kimono wants to possess her and why Tilly was in the way, give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and let's just dive into it. There's been a connection between Fatima and the lady in the kimono since the moment Elgin and Tilly arrived in Frumsville. And that's because there was a connection between Tilly and Elgin from the moment they arrived in Frumsville together. Remember back in season 2 when the bus first arrives, Elgin is the one who tells the driver to turn around because he's had dreams of this evil place before, connecting him to the town in the same way that Miranda and Tabitha are connected to this town. Tilly was the first person to react to Elgin's warning, showing that there was a connection there, but also showing us that Tilly was kind of in tune with the supernatural things that were going on in the town, just like Elgin is connected to the supernatural events. That's why both of them gravitated towards Fatima the moment they arrived. Even though Fatima didn't tell anybody about her pregnancy, Tilly revealed to both Fatima and Elgin that she knew Fatima was pregnant. And that's around the same time that Elgin started seeing the lady in the kimono and all of it is linked together the lady in the kimono Fatima's pregnancy along with Elgin and Tilly and we saw at the end of episode 7 when Fatima killed Tilly everything changed or so I thought initially the unborn baby or whatever evil creature is inside Fatima caused her to kill Tilly at the same time the lady in the kimono showed Elgin a secret hiding spot within the cellar both of them happening at the same time and in the trailer for episode 8 we see that Elgin is one of the people helping Fatima hide from her crimes. Ellis is the one who found Fatima and he's going to take Tilly's advice and run so she can hide. Elgin seeing this and having the connection, he's going to take Fatima in the cellar and hide her in that secret room. The same room that he found the skeleton in. That room is so well hidden that the person died before anyone could find them. But what if that area is just a trap? Elgin only found it because the lady in the kimono showed him where it was. She also showed it to him while Fatima was killing Tilly. I think what's happening here is there's a connection between both events. What really stood it to me was when the lady in the kimono showed up in Fatima's picture back in episode 6. She showed up as the literal personification of foreshadowing showing that there's a deeper connection between her and Fatima. The lady in the kimono told Elgin that she wants his help and if Elgin helps her she's gonna help them go home. But she never told us exactly what she needed his help with. What if she needed his help to get to Fatima? And I think there's a deeper darker more sinister connection there. There's been a few theories floating around out there that Fatima and her are connected and not just with the picture there was an intermediary connection between Fatima, Elgin, Tilly and the lady. Tilly plays a bigger bond in this connection and with her gone, that connection is now severed. And what's even more interesting is the fact that this seller keeps showing back up. And every time the seller plays a significant role in the show, a lot of deaths are happening. When Victor was in there as a child, that was the last time he saw his mother Miranda before Miranda went to go quote unquote save the children and she ended up dying. Don't forget now, that was the night of the Great Massacre. So is this a forewarning of things to come? and the day that Elgin finds it is also the same day that Tilly dies. We already know in From that there's a whole theme of repetition, reincarnation, and cycles and mirrors. What the kimono lady could be looking for is for a vessel to come back to the physical world. Because in the episode 8 trailer at the end, it's a small shot, but it's a very important shot. We see her pinning Fatima down. I zoomed in, it is Fatima in this video. It looks like she's about to possess or take over Fatima's body, which got me thinking. What if it's not actually a baby in Fatima, but it's just her body metamorphosizing and preparing itself to become a monster or a creature? All bets are really off right now. She was consuming rotten vegetables. She was consuming humans. Instead of finding nutrition to put in her body, she's been slowly decaying her own body, making me think that it may be a way for her to prep her body for just this very moment. But that's not all that happens in the trailer. One of the most important scenes that we see in this trailer is Julie went back to the ruins, but she didn't go back by herself. She took Ethan with her. Back in episode 7, I talked about it in my video when I said that area was calling out to her. This is the same place that she was trapped in at the end of season 2 when her soul was being tortured and now she's taking Ethan there. It made me think about Tabitha and just what does save the children mean? This entire time we've been thinking about maybe it's to save the spirits of the children of the town, but what if it's to save her own children? When Boyd found that place in season 2 and Martin was chained up, Martin told Boyd that he has to get out of here before they find you. One of the most interesting and least talked about theories is who and what are these quote unquote days what do they represent? And if they get their hands on Julian Ethan, it might cause Tabitha to have to sacrifice herself for her kids. The same way Miranda tried to sacrifice herself to save the kids. Maybe she wasn't trying to save these mystical kids, but her sacrifice was to save both Victor and Eloise. The real question is, if they go through the ruins and end up in that place, who's going to know they're there? And how will they find them? Setting up two manhunts. In the trailer, Acosta, Donna, and Boyd are looking for the killer. And two, 
Who's going to find the Matthews kids? That's going to be very interesting to see, especially with Acosta and Boyd working together after their confrontation. Is this a power play by Acosta or is she genuinely trying to help and ingratiate herself? These last three episodes of From are setting up more mysteries. Hopefully we get some answers to what exactly is going on. I think when they're looking for the kids is when Jade's finally going to stumble onto Jasper. Especially with what Jade was talking about last episode when he was talking about predestination and fate. If Jade is following in the same path as Christopher slowly becoming more like him, his fate and destiny is to meet up with Jasper. Because Victor is taking Jasper to Sarah's house and if Jade is in there at the same time, that might be what needs to happen for Jasper to start talking. And once that starts happening, that's when people are going to die. Things are going to go crazy. That monster from the settlement is actually going to be set loose on the town at the same time. All of these dominoes are falling down the moment that Tilly died. It makes me wonder, does the death of Tilly break the town's spirit? She was actually a genuinely nice person and everyone loved her. Maybe that's another way Frumsville is breaking the spirits of the town folk by killing a pillar of their community. That's just my thoughts on it though. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and until next time, peace.